Hi, my name is Lucy and I'm 11 years old. I'm a quadruplet and my dad is the pastor of this church. I grew up in a Christian home and I've been going to Cornerstone all my life. I first asked God into my heart just before my fifth birthday. When I was in Kids Zone, I learned a lot more about God and Jesus. I started going to big school last year and I joined the Scripture Union Club there. And at the same time, I also joined City Youth and it has been great fun so far. I also read my Bible every night before I go to bed. The weekend before the City Youth Retreat, I went to a Scripture Union camp with my school. It was only for a weekend, but it was really good fun. On the Sunday, it was the last day of the trip, and we were all sitting, singing songs and reading the Bible. I was sitting there, and I feel for me something just was different. I know that God is always with me, and He has a call in my life. My name's Connor. I went to church from a young age. I grew up in a family going there most weeks. I went to the local church's youth club and it was there that I found out about a place called CF Camp. I started going there every summer for the next few years. And all the time I'd thought I was sorted, I was going here, I was going to church, all the rest. It wasn't until about my second year up at the senior camp that I realised that I wasn't really where I thought I was. It was that summer that I decided that I'd become a Christian for real this time around. Since then I've changed a lot, I've grown a lot more mature, probably less sarcastic than I used to be and if I'm honest I'm probably a lot calmer about most things and tend to overthink things a lot less but it isn't always easy at the same time. Sometimes it's best just to know it doesn't always go the way you plan and you have to be able to deal with that but knowing that you've a way to do that is a great place to be and honestly since that year I've still been going and I'm going again this year but this time it's a training camp because I hope to be a leader for one of the camps again and maybe help someone else the way someone helped me. Hi my name's Lauren and I'm just here to tell you my testimony. I grew up in a Christian home, like many others, I had Christian parents, Christian family and I went to church every Sunday, Sunday school, SU and school, all the Christian things to do. But despite all that, I never felt truly really connected with God. I knew He was there, you know, I did believe in Him of sorts, but I never had that personal relationship with Him. In school, it would just be the same thing over and over. But then summer would come along and there is a camp called Sizen. It is a Christian camp during the summer. It goes all along the north coast and it just happened to go to my caravan site. During that time, I would go, it would be for two weeks and it would be great because there would be a personal connection there. There were leaders that weren't too far, too much older than us and we would all be able to connect. There are different age ranges from four to 17, and no matter where you were, you were able to connect because they made the stories believable, they made them short and sweet and got the message across to everyone, even the young four-year-olds up to the 17-year-olds. It was great. But then summer would end, and i find my way going back into the normal ways of going away from God when school came back again, just filled with different worries of life. Didn't really feel that it was necessary. So then, when my friend Dylan asked me to come to this youth club called Engage, it was a really great help. I didn't know what to expect, but I came and it was amazing. There were people there that I would never imagine I would have met before. They came and the leaders, they would teach about Christianity and God in a way that really connected with me personally. It was like schism all over again. The leaders, they had been through the same things that I had. So it was great. Everyone understood each other there. And now, years later, it's still going. I'm now in City Youth, a full veteran, you could say. And I've brought many people. I dragged my best friend, Kimberly, here, and she's still going to this day. It keeps growing. 
it's great and I just can't wait to see what else is going to happen. So from a young age I've always uh, been in the presence of God. I grew up in church but we weren't necessarily a Christian family, you know, but um, I'm very thankful for my granny who mainly brought me up in my faith and uh, she always like, pushed me on. And her and my mum sort of took me out to church every week and my dad, he, he isn't a Christian but um, he took me everywhere so he, did. he took us out to church every week and took me to every youth group there was. I just asked him, he took me and I'm really thankful for having him as my dad. Like, if it wasn't for him I wouldn't get to go where I do go and uh, just thankful for my parent, my mum and my granny who sort of took me out to church every week and sort of got me in there to like, meeting Jesus every week. But um, I grew up in camps and different youth groups and it was my last year of camp that uh, John Lockery said to me that I should come out to engage sometime and I came out in September and he texted me and he told me to come along and I knew some people that were going and I just thought, hey, this is great crack, I'll have to come back and then a few weeks after that I just sort of stopped coming and something just happened and I didn't go anymore. And it was sort of later on that year I came back at Rock Nations and I've always been going since and there was a time at school where I just wasn't getting on well and uh, David, my friend David just said to me I should go out to Cornerstone and he can get me a lot with Jeannie and I was like right then no bother and uh, I just came out and I seen John he sat on beside me and I had the chat to him and just uh, ever since I've been going to Cornerstone and I've made great friends there and through that God's revealed to me that uh, he wants me to go on later church, he wants me to go to Bible college and I'm just really thankful for what he's done in my life. My favourite Bible verse is James 2.17 Faith alone without action is dead. That just says to me uh, that life without Jesus isn't worth living. Like If you're not loving your life as a loving sacrifice for God and showing who Jesus was, then you're not really loving at all because it's the best way to give the Bible because you're the only Bible that people might ever read.